Welcome back to Good Morning Lala. I'm so thrilled to have one of my dearest friends, Robert Shard, on the show and his lovely, amazing partner, Meg. Elsperman, I want to get that right. You guys, okay, so Robert's been, of course, he said, huge actor, has been on Coach Carter, tons of shows, one-on-one. He is a serial entrepreneur. They have a new product they're up to. I want to hear about everything, you guys. Uh, yeah, yes, good morning, everybody. Hi, how's it going? Wow. Hi. Yeah. So, you know, Go. so listen, so listen. So, I really came across um, what she was building as a customer. Um, I get injured all the time. And um, she put this product on me, and it's called Reborns for muscle and joint pain. And um, I live and work with doctors. I went to Johns Hopkins University, and I have a lot of friends who are doctors. And I had a doctor tell me, you'll be limping for three weeks. So, then she took this oil and rubbed it on, and she was just a touch of it. And the next morning, I couldn't believe when I got out of bed that I could stand and walk. I was like, what is this? So I started giving it to my friends who are MMM um, fighters and whatnot, and whatnot. And she's a boxer, and she sort of created this healing product. And now we have a vision of transforming suffering for all. Wait, wow. you're a boxer? <laughs> yeah, I'm a boxer. <laughs> wow. So tell us about that, and what was the catalyst for creating this oil? Yes, yeah, so um, I studied microbiology at DePaul University. And I started boxing amateur, and so um, I was always getting bruises on my face and I was trying to manage my own pain because um, I was in sales at the time. And so um, I formulated this product, Reborn, and I used it on a few fighters at the gym and everyone was coming back saying that I healed them. I'm like, I didn't heal you. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. And uh, it kind of spun off into transform suffering for all. And so I've had a lot, every walk of life be able to benefit from it. So, What's in the secret um, sauce? Well, it's a proprietary blend, but everything is from the earth. So. Yeah, for sure. Can I buy it in like bucketfuls so that I can dip <laughs> entire human beings into it? Yeah, they're working it's called, on that. It's called a punch bag. <laughs> right? We're building a punch yeah. bag. Because I want to yeah. get people like go like inside and out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. That's it's amazing. just funny that you said that because we're actually uh, building that right now. Yeah. Um, uh, we work also for everything from um, professional athletes to people who are really suffering. So um, we're using this product for healing for cancer patients, um, really? people like that, oh. but also for performance athletes like your LeBron Jameses and actually equestrian sports like horses and whatnot. Really? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. What's been the toughest part about building this business? Um, I, I, I'll probably start there. I'll probably yeah. start there. So I think that it's very important that you're always of service and bringing value to whatever you're doing and that you actually have a solution for people. And that really starts with this thing called DNA, which I think that you know everything that's in living has DNA. Your mom and dad created you, came together, and that's your DNA. And as you build, you're building that same code. And if you get injured, your DNA is what's helping to correct you and put you back. So when you're building a business, this is a lot like a baby. You got to have the DNA. And so we really work together during the time of like, you know, Christmas time and whatnot, when it's really spiritual on what's the DNA for our business. And we got down to this one sentence, transform suffering for all. But there was so much work that went into that, like 14 hours driving <laughs> yeah. um, between Atlanta and Florida that was like, so what do we do? I'm like, do we heal for dolphins? Do we heal for ants? Do we heal for beetles? And we have this June bug in our house that's a model because it was on the ground and it couldn't fly anymore. And we took a little touch of Reborn and put on there and then... He flew yeah. away. Like he got better and flew away. And he Stop. visits the house all the time now. Wow. So I was thinking, like, you know, you guys had the segment on hot and hay rides. I'm like, we kill, we heal the monsters, yeah. the leprechauns, <laughs> aliens. Yeah. We transform suffering for all. So what I love about you guys is that, uh, first of all, I mean, I'm new to know you, Meg, within the last, like, what, six yeah, months or so? Yeah, six months. Yeah. And you're so amazing. You have this, this beautiful spirit about you. And then Robert Richard is one of the most charismatic. He knows every single person in this town. He, he, he literally has people and friends across the globe. Like he is, so, I mean, it's ridiculous. You guys are so beautiful. I mean, you could be doing anything. What was it that had you specifically? I know you're calling around your career, but what was it that, I mean, came to a potion out of all things? Honestly, it was all God. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I am very spiritual and God gave me this gift. And so I have like the gift of healing by touch. And then also I wanted to formulate something, um, here's the lore, but that I could give to anybody without me physically putting my hands on them and they would be able to benefit from the same healing. So, so we're obsessed with, I'm obsessed with the idea of healing. I'll yeah. be honest with yeah. you. <laughs> what would you say is the essence mm -hmm. of healing, particularly, um, and not just through potion, but through healing touch or what would you say is the essence of healing for you? I think it's believing that you can be healed by something at such a high power and uh, it's no medicine, it's no doctor's touch, it's, it's all God, God heals all. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. And also, too, just the balance in general. Um, you know, sometimes we have imbalance in our life, and that can be uh, physical, mental, cerebral. It can be emotional. It can be spiritual imbalance. And a lot of what you guys are doing is, like, identifying imbalance and figuring out ways to bring people on this show that can correct that and give people balance again. And I think it's beautiful. So I think, you know, I think balance comes with a big part you. of that. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. So, okay, so how do people work with you? Do they come to the events? Do they just buy the product? What does that look like? Yeah, so um, this one's Allure. So this is Beauty Rest in a Bottle. So you actually can get this on um, Instagram, follow us on Instagram, it's EPM Products with an X. Um, or you can text hashtag EPM to order and it's one nine four nine three seven five seven four eight five. Yeah, everyone's on the Instagram these days, so you just <laughs> oh, go to no, at um, no, EPM right. products, and you know we're building a business that you know looking to. Right. You know they're going to Mars, and we want to send yeah. 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 to Mars and <laughs> you, <also laughs> just a, you just did another movie, right? Absolutely, yeah. So um, I also work in entertainment. Uh, I've got five movies coming out five. right now. Yeah, one drops <laughs> this Friday. Yeah. Um, it's called Kinky, and uh, it's an amazing movie about a, a surgeon who has her whole life together. She's got her connection with God and her family and her friends and she's not looking to explore any relationships and then she meets a guy and he, so falls, it happens. he yeah. falls in love at <laughs> first sight and he goes for her and she starts to have these dreams and she calls her therapist she's like is this normal that I'm dreaming about this guy at night and so he invites her on a yacht and you know it's not just what he's saying to her it's what he's really saying to her mm -hmm. um, and then he sends her like 60 dozen roses who 60 doesn't want does it? yeah who doesn't want wow. that <laughs> Kill it. he's God. a he's a financial tycoon he's a hedge fund manager and, and he's you know building empires and he starts to build himself inside of her no pun intended wow, wow. <laughs> but you, I mean you've worked with some of the top you know celebrities in town Paris you were co-host with Paris Hill on, on one of the movies, and uh, what does that look like? What is that? What have you learned from all this? What's your biggest takeaway from Hollywood? Oh, you know, I still love it. I love it for all the reasons why I got into it. Was just um, just staying out of trouble. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Los Angeles, born and raised, and um, I was really in gang life, and I was getting ready to get into a fight, and I didn't want to fight that day, and I went into a random building. A random building just happened to be an acting school, and I was just in there stalling. What are you guys? <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Can I get a tour? Is there an application to fill out? Uh, pretty girls there, and um, and then you know that's kind of how I got to theater training, and that's why I'm a big advocate for after school programs because I think it's important that kids have something productive to do as opposed to participating in destructive um, activities. Wow, so what a story! Yeah, so that's that's my house. That's how I got into it. And that was 13 years old. I was 13, yes. Yeah. So I'm in the business 22 years now. Um, I don't look it because I have a lure. This, <laughs> uh, this, young. this is actually, I use this uh, every single day, just a touch. Um, this bottle right here is one ounce. It'll probably last you 120 uses because you're using that little of it. Mm -hmm. And it's really healing you from the cell, from the cellular level. So it's healing your cells, your cells heal you, and then that's just how it works. Wow. Sounds good. Love Sign that. me up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so fun, you guys. So yeah. So I'm gonna plug all my other movies right now because <laughs> this is the time. So I have a Throwback Holiday. It's coming out. Um, it's a holiday movie that's kind of like a Christmas story. Um, and I play that with Jennifer Freeman. She was on My Wife and Kids, uh, and she plays my love interest, and she's amazing. And uh, then I have another movie called Bolden coming out. That's about the birth of jazz music. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine R. Kelly. Uh, 150 years ago, just like <laughs> fighting with band members and peeing on people and all that stuff. So, um, but it's actually a story about about um, how our uh, this American art form that was built by this one person, how our country tried to take his talent and then get rid of him. So he ended up in jail and the Salem Islands. I drove him to being literally schizophrenic. Wow. Um, but to steal his art form, which became what we call modern day radio. And then uh, I have another movie coming out called uh, Real Talk that I played the. Uh, boyfriend of a disc jockey um, who's cheating on her and then uh, my brother's keeper is my Christian movie that's coming out and that'll be out um, next year five wow. movies you better drink that man you know what's so funny right you know what's so funny the so part reason why I can swear by this is because I did I took a little drink of it to see if it would how <laughs> I feel afterwards and I felt great so I was just like okay I can give this to anybody <laughs> Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Good morning, Lala Land. Love you guys. God bless. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Love you.